What's up techies, I wanna show you a video of how to install a custom ROM using the Nexus 6P. I've received a number of requests asking me to make a video of how to put a custom ROM onto the Nexus 6P specifically. The principles and the steps pretty much go across most devices, if not all. The main thing that you wanna pay attention to is what the developer instructs you to do. Always follow what the developer says to do. That's the biggest thing that you can remember. The ROM of choice for this video is going to be Dirty Unicorns. It's a great ROM to check out, lots of cool features. If you've not seen my review about Dirty Unicorns, go ahead and click the link down below in the description. But I'll also be doing an update, or as you could call it, a revisit video about Dirty Unicorns because there's actually been some progress since the last time I did a video about it. With all that said, let's go ahead and get going. First of all, you have to be rooted and have custom recovery installed. I highly suggest using Twerp Recovery and pretty much the one that's supported across the board. First of all, you're going to have to be rooted and have custom recovery installed. If you need help doing that, I'll leave a link down below in the description to help get you going. It's the Wugfresh tool and it's really simple to use, just follow the instructions in the guide that I provide. Once you have your device rooted and with custom recovery, we can get going. Mind you're going to want to back up anything that is important to you such as photos, contacts, or any other important files that you want to back up. Because we are actually going to end up wiping the device clean. Before you power down your device or anything like that, you're going to want to make sure that you get the proper files onto your device. Depending on the ROM that you're going to use, you're going to want to go over to the XDA files link. In the XDA files link, you're going to find the ROM download link, but you're also going to want to download the G apps. Another file that is very important is the vendor image. This file can be found over at the Pure Nexus thread. Make sure you have all three of these files on your device on the root of the device before you get going. Links are in the description for the ones that I am talking about but make sure that you follow the directions that the developer leaves in case you're using a different ROM. To get going, power down your device if it's not already powered down. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is hold down the power and the volume down at the same time and let it boot up to there. To toggle between the options, you use the volume rockers. And you're gonna to wanna to hit recovery mode. To select it, hit power. When you're greeted with this screen, you have the option to hit never show the screen during boot again and swipe it over. Now you're basically at the home screen of Twarp Recovery. From this screen, just to give you a quick tour of what you can do with Twarp Recovery, you have install, backup, mount, advanced, wipe, restore, settings, and reboot. For the most part, you're just going to be messing with a few of these options, such as install, backup, restore, and wipe. If you've not made a backup yet, go ahead and do that. You're going to want to hit backup. And you can toggle on these if you want to, but these are the ones that you mainly want to worry about. So just swipe over to make a backup. And just let it do its thing. Don't mess with it or anything like that. It will vibrate or let you know that it's ready. Once your device is backed up, you'll feel that vibrate and you can swipe to unlock and then go back or hit the home. I'll just hit the home. Now let's say you want to restore your device at some point and just go to restore and then there's your backup right there. I highly suggest making a backup. I cannot emphasize that more enough. All right, so next step is to go to wipe. And this is what you're gonna to wanna to do is swipe to factory reset. You only have to do this once. Now your device is completely wiped, so it's really important that you install something at this point. Let's say that you goofed up and forgot to put a file on here. What you can do is actually use an OTG cable with a flash drive connected to it. All you have to do is just connect it right here. I'll leave a link down below if you're interested in picking up a cable like this. Once you have that plugged in, just hit select storage, then you have your OTG option here, and hit OK. In a previous version of Twarp, you used to see the files all together, but now the vendor image is going to be in this option here. You'll see the install vendor image, and then it's sitting right there. But you want install zip first. Now that you're familiar with all the files and where they're placed, this is what you do. You go to install, and you're going to select the DU angler, add more zips, and then banks. Swipe to confirm to flash. Let it flash. Flashing is another word for installing. Next, you're going to want to wipe cache and Dalvik. Swipe to wipe. Now go back to the home and you're going to hit install, install image. Then you have the vendor, vendor image there, confirm to flash by swiping. And then reboot system. Once your device boots up, you'll feel a hint of a vibrate, and then you'll be at your welcome screen. 
If you have a SIM card, go ahead and insert it. I don't have it in this particular device at this time, but you will want to actually connect to your Wi-Fi network. Once you're logged in, you're going to be asked to back up from another device. Say no. You're going to want to start from scratch. Go ahead and log into your Google account. You can go ahead and set up your phone. You've got the choice to load up your apps from another device, which is actually a really nice option. You don't have to remember all your apps, or you can just start from scratch. And that's pretty much it. It's going to start to load up all your apps from the Play Store. And you know, I got 123 to go, so I'm not going to put you through that pain and misery of waiting for it to finish. But that's really all there is to it to install a custom ROM onto your Nexus 6P. For the most part, this is going to be the same setup and the same steps that you're going to take to install ROM on most other devices. As always, and I can't emphasize this enough, that you need to follow the developer instructions. That's very important. The developer is going to include everything that you need to know about that ROM. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you thought that was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, please leave a comment down below in the comment section. But you'll also want to hit up XDA forums for any troubleshooting issues. Make sure to share this video with your favorite social networks, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. And also hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more how-to videos like this, along with reviews and other guides. And until then, stay techie. Mm.